Uh, you, you, yesterday, when uh, you told us you were going to be back today, you said you you, you you want to talk about it. Yeah. If you decide now you don't want to, that's cool as well. No, I'm fine. It's just I do I do get nervous, so you just have to bear with me. Yeah, I'm sure. Because I find, oh, all right, when I get nervous, I sort of giggle a bit. I find it really uncomfortable to talk about real stuff, real stuff. You know, people think we open up so much on the radio and that, but we do. But we sort of give you what we can deal with giving you. We don't always give you all the gory details. But, um, yeah, first of all, I just want to, I want to say to any man or woman listening, because it can also be men, um, that has ever been assaulted in any way, and you've been able to tell the police or reach out for help, that you, you're so brave. I admire you greatly because I know how much strength it takes to do that. And I found that out t- two weeks ago. I went out for a few drinks with um, some friends and I felt like, oh, I've had too many now and I've got to get home. So I got into a taxi and you read about it in the newspaper, etc. Yeah, for anyone that hasn't. The taxi driver was inappropriate. Yeah. Well, he was touching me. He was, he offered to give me the ride for free if he could touch my breasts. And then he did touch my breasts. He put his hand right down my top. And he, then he uh, got out of the car and tried to follow me into my apartment block. Now, I was freaking out. I was in panic mode about three quarters of the way through this taxi ride. And I was, you know, I don't rem- remember everything. It was all a bit of a blur. But I felt really, really, really unsafe and scared. And I could not wait to get out of that taxi soon enough. Um, but luckily I did get inside safe and I'm good, I'm fine. So um, I, I learnt a few things because I, I, I uh, went on my Facebook in the morning and I put a post up about this horrible experience that happened. Yeah, a lot of people actually um, comment on that, saying, why did JJ put this on Facebook rather than just going straight to the police? <sighs> I know. You, I think... you weren't even going to go to the police. You, I remember you, you say, said to us on our group mess, messenger thing that you, you didn't think it was worthy of wasting the police, police's time. I know, I don't know. I... I was I was in shock. Like when I got home about one in the morning, I texted Dom and I I knew he would be asleep, so I didn't expect a reply. And I texted my friend as well, and he offered to come over, but I was like, no, no, I'm, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, because I felt safe once I was inside my house. But I was just shaken up, and when I I hadn't slept very well because I was thinking about it over and over in my head, like how bad was it? Was it just mine, or I don't know. So. Um, I went on Facebook because I didn't know what to do, basically, and I just sort of thought I would sort of reach out to my followers and see if any of them had any similar experiences or advice. I didn't really think too much of it. I didn't think, I wasn't doing it for attention. I didn't do it for publicity, obviously. I was just reaching out. And when I got, I started getting all the responses, I couldn't keep up with them all, but I realised really quickly that I had to go to the police. So there's a lot of pressure on me, people telling me that it was disgusting and I should go to the police. So I, um, I think I would definitely think twice before posting something like that on Facebook again. Just yeah, because lesson learned, hey? From there, I did cop a lot of flack. Which, but, by the way, and pe- people are very judgmental, eh? Because you don't know how you're going to react until you're in that situation. Mm. And, and I think Hindsight, hindsight's can be a wonderful thing as well. And when people turn around and said, oh, you know, this is your, if you don't report it, JJ, it's your fault if this happens to somebody else. It's like, no, 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 no. It's the guy's fault who's sexually abusing women. Not your fault at all. So how you want to deal with it is completely mm. up to you. Yeah, well, I did go to the police, and it took me a few hours, and I, I, I wasn't going to go to the police at first. I thought, oh, I'm just going to call the taxi company and tell them they've got some super creep working for them, and maybe he'll get fired or something. I didn't, I didn't realise that it was... I've never rung the police before, so I, I didn't know. Worse things have happened to me, so I thought... I compared it to other things that had happened and thought it was minor in comparison, but I didn't realise the police take this stuff really seriously. And they were really good with me. And I went there and it was frightening. It was, I was scared as hell going to the police. I don't know why, but it was, I think I was still in shock as well. I didn't realise what was uh, going on, but... Do you, do you feel like, you, even though you're the victim, like there's so, so many questions and so much detail you want, do you, do you feel like you're being interrogated in a way? Well, I wasn't, it wasn't that day, um, but they do try and re- get you to remember everything, like, you know, which hand did he touch you with, the left hand or the right hand or whatever. I, 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 don't, I don't know. So I struggled through the statement. But 
I was indecently assaulted. It was unwanted. And it's not okay. And this is something really valuable that I've learned from this experience. And the, the frightening thing is it happens to too many people. I cannot believe how many people have been uh, inappropriately touched or assaulted or whatever in a taxi or anywhere else. It's unacceptable. And I don't know how we can stop this, but maybe talking about it, well, maybe a lot of taxi drivers listening who are up to the no good will realise that it's not a good thing to do. Have you seen the thing going around Facebook at the moment where people are just posting Me Too? On Facebook, and then it says, if all the women who have ever been sexually harassed or assaulted wrote Me Too as a status, we might start getting a sense of the magnitude of the problem. So you might start seeing that now pop up on your Facebook feed, just all these Me Too statuses. And so you're right, Jay, it's, it's happening far too often, and it isn't okay. Um, yeah, I just, I will answer that question that you asked me, like, why did I sit in the front seat of the cab? Because well, a not lot of my people, question, by the way, but a lot no. of inappropriate people have asked that online, so suggesting people, it's somehow your fault. So many people obsessed with that, like, where I sat in the taxi. I mean, I, I, I can't even believe that that is an issue, or that that has even made the news, because... <sighs> Can I answer that for you? Well, can, can I answer why mm -hmm. I think it's in the... If, if you, you know, when you're travelling... No, just because you're a friendly person. Yeah. And it seems... I don't know, I guess you think it probably seems kind of rude to like sit in the back seat instead of treating the taxi driver as an equal. But anyway, you, well, I do. when you take a taxi, you should be able to sit wherever you want. The you driver should, should just keep to. their hands to themselves. That's right, that's what I thought. Like, I, sometimes, I often sit in the back, but I don't really have a problem sitting in the front. I didn't until now. But you'd never I do trust, it again? No, I trust taxi drivers to do their job and take me where I want to go safely. Just because I sat in the front is no excuse for the driver to have done what he did. Mm. I should have felt safe and I should have been safe. I wasn't Absolutely. asking for it. That's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever freaking heard. Hey, yeah. uh, and we've got a lot of people want to show their support for you, Jay, and are glad that you're back. Anna's one of them. Morning, Anna. Good morning. How are you guys today? <laughs> We're doing okay, yeah. I know. It's good to have the whole team back together. on the way to work. Sorry. Yeah, definitely. No, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry at all. I've been through something very similar to you, and it is very brave of you to speak. Oh, God. Oh, what a time to put us on hold. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, all right. Okay, um, next. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got uh, Dylan on um, the phone at the moment. Dylan, are you there, mate? Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going? Yeah, Doing good. Doing good. Um, just for you on this. Bad mouth, if you guys, man. There's no need for that, eh? Anyone because who's what bagging bad, on bad us? Bad mouthing you. Bad, oh. bad mouthing you, man. Because you're a nice lady, and you guys have actually helped me get through a lot of stuff. Oh wow, oh, Dylan. That means a lot, bro. I'm sorry, guys, for crying, but I just do with my own shit and try to scream. But people that does this, people should not be in this world. Mm. Yeah. It's not life. Because yeah. you guys have got me through. Everything, and without you guys, I probably wouldn't be here today. Oh, Dylan. Is that right? Dylan, you, yeah. please tell me, please tell me you have other support and help and professional help. Yeah, I'm good. I've actually been to the doctors yesterday and I'm getting help. Okay, awesome, well, that's bro. fantastic. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's and thank really you guys good. for everything, because without you hearing you guys in the morning, and especially Don's laugh and all that stuff, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be here. Oh, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, mate, we'd love to meet you sometime. You come, come and say good day. Yeah. I love that too. Hey, Dylan, good luck, good luck, good luck. Keep, Thanks, keep up luck the therapy. Thanks. Look. Cheers, Dylan. <laughs> hey, wait, okay. Should we, should, we, should we take a break? Yeah, don't yeah. Take a break. Wait, Jay. I don't want to. Well, can we just end this here or okay. not? Yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. That's what we want to do. Because I, I do have to say something, though. It's just okay. really important. Yeah. That um, if, if anything like this ever happens to you, it is not okay and you must report it. And um, even if the police don't solve the crime, it will help them if a similar complaint is made and they can piece the puzzle together. Mm. You know, the more people that come forward and say a taxi driver did this to me, for example, that we have to go, oh my God, we've had nine complaints about this. We must, you know, well, they might be able to find the guy in the end. Um, and I will admit that it is a really terrifying experience to go to the police. I'd never done it before and I was honestly so scared and uh, I'm glad I went though. You go there, even take a friend and they will make you feel seriously at ease. They keep you updated on any progress and they also offer support. So there's a sexual abuse helpline called HELP and uh, they gave me their number but that night one of them rang me and left a message and I didn't reply because I wasn't ready to talk. Next day, someone else rang and left a message and I didn't reply because I wasn't ready to talk. But on the third day, 
I called them and the funny thing is I actually couldn't talk I was so upset when they answered the phone I, I couldn't get the words out but I hung up and they called me back again the next day so they have these support systems and they are persistent in helping you um, you don't have to rush it either but I'm going to say if you want to get home safely in a taxi take note of the details of the cab and the driver even just take a picture of their tag uh, or use Uber and the reason I say use Uber is just because when you catch an Uber all the details of the driver and your route and everything are all recorded right there so you have that to go back to if anything yeah, terrible but, happens even though it shouldn't happen you shouldn't have to like take no, a photo yeah. of the driver's tag know, just record you, you, you should get in that cab with 100% certainty that you're know, not going to be molested it's disgusting it happens but too many people it's happening to so just try and be aware of those things and don't share personal information with the driver if they ask about your relationship status, tell them you have a partner, whether it's true or not. Tell them they're in the mob. God, it's almost, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're almost saying you should get them to drop them off around the corner from your house so they don't yeah, know where I you know. live. It's, it's, a t- it's stupid to have to even give that advice. But anyway, good luck. And if it does happen to you, please, please, please don't keep it to yourself. No matter how hard right. it is. Hey, well, it's great to have you back. And it the, you know, the, It's a bit of a serious topic, but the more chat about this, I think, the better. We've got to stop this. Cool. You're on the edge.